Every month here on PTL, we're featuring a new segment called Shop Downtown because we often talk about the new restaurants and shows in town, but not often the great stores. These locally owned shops give us a good reason to shop downtown. And today's featured store is a sweet one. It's Katie's Candies with four locations around town on Wood Street, as well as Liberty Avenue, Fifth Avenue Place, and the Federated Tower. And the timing is perfect to be talking about candy with trick or treating just around the corner. So we have store owner John Weston here, along with Lee White of the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, to tell us about the uh, shops and upcoming events going on downtown. So thank you both for being here. Thank you. John, Thanks. I can't wait to try some of the goods you brought us. But Lee, why don't you start off and tell us about some? Halloween fun events that are going Ugh, on. There's some really cool stuff happening in downtown for Halloween. There's some great parties, um, but one of the things that we're most excited about is next Saturday night, which is the 28th of October. It's our final uh, uh, big market in Market Square, our night market, mm -hmm. and we're really going to blow it out. We're calling it Fright Up Night. Oh, I love that. And we're going to have a music crawl in all the restaurants around Market Square. There's going to be a costume contest. We're going to have entertainment. It's just going to be a really, really great way to celebrate Halloween in downtown. Is this something you've done before? Or is we this haven't. This is our first oh, one, that's and neat. we kind of like the nod to Light Up Night, Fright Up Night. Right. So we think it's going to be a really fun event. It starts at 5 p.m. We hope everyone will come down with their very very cool costumes and hopefully they'll pop by and get some candy first. Don't you think um, this is kind of like the start after that party, the start of the holiday shop? And we're going to be talking about that soon. <laughs> I know it. It's just we right are. around the corner. But let's get through Halloween first. And Katie's Candy has been around for how long? Uh, since May of 2010. Great. But you've been around much longer? You had the no. location in Homestead as well? That was the original store. In 2010. In 2010. And so when did you move downtown? Uh, 2013. Great. And how, I mean, with four locations, and that's insane in that short amount of time. Yeah, I mean, we decided to go downtown because that's we're basically where Candy Rama was. Okay. A lot of our locations are the exact same location that they had. And so, I mean, obviously you have some great stuff, some oldies. Mm, I love absolutely. this. And, uh, and some goodie and some new things too as well, I'm sure. Um, how did you guys get started in, in uh, I guess, in 2010? Uh, anyway, the stores are originally named after my daughter, Katie. Katie Aww. is my daughter. Uh, she's my youngest daughter, so my older daughter is still a little upset at me. Uh, is she, <laughs> none we, of the locations are named after her. No, none of the locations are named <laughs> oh. after her. And she reminds me all the time. Oh, no. Uh, the, the first store was in Homestead. Okay. Then we opened the store in Oakland. We closed both of those stores, and we decided to come all downtown. Okay. And it was strictly because we were following Candy Rama. Yeah. And so uh, what is your number one bestseller? It's probably the triple dip malt ball. And that's what you gave me here. That's the one I gave you. Okay, so I'm going to eat this. I, it looks like it's going to take me a minute, so maybe I'll eat it during the commercial okay. break. <laughs> um, what else do you have um, uh, that's popular at your store? Anyway, what we're known for is bulk candy, uh -huh. nostalgic candy, and hard to find candy. Oh. So when you look at sort of the types of candy we this, have. This I haven't seen in forever. That one's an easy one. Is it? This is a hard one. The Idaho Spud. Okay, this is a, uh, what are these buttons? Those are, those the, are the buttons. buttons. I used to eat these when I was a kid. And the paper, probably. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, the satellite wafers are very popular. Okay. Right over uh, We here. sell lots of those. Uh, and another one that, that everyone in Pittsburgh probably remembers is the Clark Bar. Got it. Yeah, I remember that. Of yeah. course. And then the ice cube, the candy cigarettes. We sell all these products at, at every location. I gotta say, I'm surprised these still even exist. And they're know? called candy sticks now. Candy sticks. <laughs> okay, and so let's take you inside, our viewers inside the store. How much candy do you guys actually have? Uh, Bin-wise, there's probably a thousand bins in every store of different types of like wow, bulk candy. Wow, look at this. Uh, count candy, which is like your candy bars and that, there's probably another 1,500. And so with Halloween coming up, what do you see people going for for Halloween? Since well, you sell bulk candy, I'm sure you, you do a lot of yeah, sales. Yeah, because I'll get a lot of people that'll buy, right now they're buying like atomic fireballs, the jawbreakers. Some people will get something like, like the Mary Janes or the Bitto Honey, something sort of old school. Uh -huh. uh, and like I brought Chico sticks, which is sort of the southern version of a Zagna. And where are the Chico sticks? What are These those? Are Chico sticks. Oh, right here. Yes. I don't know if I know what that is. If you've ever had a Zagnut, it almost tastes exactly like a Zagnut. Okay. I don't know that I've had a Zagnut either. <laughs> you're, <laughs> I'm you're dating talking myself. To me here. <laughs> well, today might be your lucky day. You'll get to try one later. Okay, great. 
<laughs> and you have wax fangs as well. Wax fangs. Uh, we have, what we're really known for is really the gummy stuff. So like we have probably 400 different gummy items. Mm -hmm. So it's everywhere from the American stuff to the German, the French. Basically, if I can find it, I'll bring it in. Okay. And a lot of times I'll bring the whole line in. So like a good example is there's one out of Spain called Videl. Mm. Uh, and they have like 40 items out of all 40. Oh, wow. Some of them are good sellers and some are not. Like one of the things that they have is they have, and you've probably seen this, there is a, a raspberry egg. It's about this big. And it's <laughs> raspberry. It tastes very, very good. Sounds like Willy Wonka's candy shop. Uh, one other thing you brought here with you this morning are the baskets. And tell yes. us a little bit about your baskets that you offer. What we do is we have candy baskets in the store. But what we do is we make them when you call because we're not going to pre-make them because a lot of this, we want to make sure everything's fresh. Specific and fresh, right? Right. And you can pick and choose. So if you want... You don't want to You want some candy. zag nuts, but you don't want right. the candy wafers. Exactly <laughs> right. We're not going to put them in. Right, okay. So, like, it, we have one over here, uh -huh. and this is the bubblegum basket. This one right here. And so it has the different uh, flavors of Big League Chew, and there's five flavors of Big League Chew. Uh -huh. It has, like, the Jumbo, the Double Bubble, uh, and the candy cigarettes, or the candy sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, well, thank you so much for telling us all about your shop and thank the you. things you have to offer. I, I imagine that you're pretty successful. Who doesn't like candy, right? Everybody does. Yeah, right. Okay, again, Shop Downtown is our new regular feature with a focus on locally owned businesses in downtown Pittsburgh. We are proud to have them. Thanks to Katie's Candies for being our guest today. Satisfy your sweet tooth at four locations, uh, Katie's locations on Wood Street, Liberty Avenue in the Clark Building, as well as Fifth Avenue Place and Federated Building. Look for more details on the shop and Pittsburgh Downtown Partnerships Halloween events at katieka.com slash PTL. We'll be right back with one more